I'm just going to quickly take you through the setup of the ILS. Um, I know you've got an instruction sheet, but it's quite. Um, it's it's always better to see a demonstration of how to set it up than it is trying to read it off the paper. So when you get your ILS, um, whether you've got the seven pin or the twelve pin, just plug it into the box with the seven pin. If you've got the the twelve volt, just plug it into the box. Um, make sure that you turn it on um, on the box. Now what I'm going to look for is when you first turn it on, is you're going to get all the LEDs come on. That's confirmation that everything's working. And then the middle button, the middle LED should then start to to breathe. So we'll, we'll look at that. And then we've got the breathing light on there. Right. So we're we're happy with that. On the side, you've got your selector switch. Um, white or red all right and opposite it there's a small hole on the side which you can see um, and that's the microphone so take your lights um, whether you bought it with the with the, a light set or you're using the, the existing lights you've got with your power pack plug them in right we've got um so we'll, we'll go around the buttons anyway then you can see what they do and how they work so um, the top here, this is your manual override outside. So make sure you've got at least one colour selected and just press and hold that light. Uh, press and hold that button. As you can see the lights come on there. If I flick the switch, alright, you'll get the red light on. To turn that manual override off, keep your finger on it and that's your light uh, turned back off. Um, the box is still in listening mode because we've got the breathing light on. Got internal lights here. Um, if you want to turn them on, press and hold the, the button underneath there, and you've got your internal lights on. To turn it off again, press and hold. Um, the the top button here is a save button. So um, once you've got your microphone set up the way you want it, and the lights to the brightness that you want them to, you can save it. If you press and hold it, you'll get an alternate flash. Um, between the LEDs. So we'll press and hold that and you can see. Alright, that's just lets you know that it's everything saved. Um, this is all, um, both uh, sides of the buttons also have another function. Um, this side here um, is for the microphone because it's on the microphone side and it works as a, as a step, sy step system so um, if I press the down button, all right, you'll see the LEDs directly underneath flash to show that you've pressed the button. So, all right, you can see that they're flashing there. There's about 20 steps there, so I can press that 20 times and it'll go all the way down to the bottom. What that's doing is it's adjusting the microphone sensitivity. Um, so if you find that your alarms, um, that it's detecting your alarm too quick, uh, or or it, everything's just too loud, you can just press that and turn the sensitivity down. Once you're at the bottom, you'll get a double flash of the LEDs. Um, I'll go up to the top and put it on maximum sensitivity so you can see the double flash. So what we're looking at, as you can see when I'm pressing it, what we're looking for is a double flash. That's probably further down than what I thought. Like I said, there's about 20... Ah, there we go. Alright, so that's us at the maximum there. You see, if I press it again, you'll get a double flash. That lets us know we're at the maximum sensitivity. If you want to save that, press and hold. Alright, now if you unplug the box and plug it back in, um, it'll um, it'll keep that set. That's gone off because it's on maximum sensitivity there, so I'm talking directly next to it, so it's going to set it off. Um, Whilst it's on, I'll show you how to turn it off. Any one of the four buttons, just press it and it'll turn off. I'll turn it away so I'm not going to speak right down the side of it so it doesn't come on. Um, so that's how you adjust the, the microphone. Um, if you get your receiver, place the receiver. <laughs> that's because it's on maximum. What I'll do is I'll, we'll go down a few. Just so it's not so sensitive otherwise. Every time I talk, it's just going to go off. There we go. Um, 
you get your receiver and just push it up against the side of the box all right um just to test and adjust it as well so if you find that it's on maximum sensitivity and you're still not getting a, an indication on the box just make sure it's nice and close or if it's picking up too quick you could just move it slightly further away um i'm just going to um show you the 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 dimmer again or the dimmer how the dimmer works so if we manual override turn the lights on you can see the lights have come on now up and down again the same as the microphone and there's 10 steps on this so if i press um the down button you can actually see i don't know if you can see it on the video that well but the light is actually dimming and da dimming down um i'll keep going all right again double flash as you can see once we're at the bottom if you wanted to save that uh, brightness of the leds so when it activates on your alarm going off and you don't it on full bright on on full um you can then save that setting again press and hold it would now come on at that color um so manual override back off there we go so i'll turn the microphone back up which is this one we'll turn it back up to the top we'll hopefully get there without it going off there we go that's just at the top there i'll press and hold and save that so now we've saved the microphone and we've saved the light so if i then talk really loudly and set it off there you go you can see it's only came on the brightness that we set so we'll turn um we'll turn it off we'll turn the light back on and then we'll go up uh, which is this top button here again And once we're at maximum, we'll get a double flash. There we go, that's just on maximum now. Press and hold. And there we go, that's all saved. There we go. So that's your box set up. Uh, any problems, um, just have a read through the instruction sheet. Watch the video again. Hopefully I've went through everything there. Um, there is um, one other button, actually one of the one of one of the fu function that you can do. Turn that off. And um, the breathing light. Let's just turn that down. So we're not setting it off again. The breathing light in the middle. If you don't want the breathing light on at night, uh, whether it distracts you or when you're trying to get to to sleep, if you press and hold this button here, it'll actually turn the the breathing LED off. I'm gonna press and hold it again, not turn it back on. All right. Any problems uh, read the instruction sheet um, or give me a call and I'll, and I'll try and answer as best as I can thanks very much